Hi there, this is Robin Andrews from Comp Academy, and this is a video about flowcharts. Now the algorithm we're going to look at today is finding out whether a whole number is even or odd. And I'm going to show you it in Python first. So if we do this for i in range 11, and we do print i mod 2, okay, so in Python mod is the percentage sign and you'll see here you get this alternating 0 1 0 1 0 1 pattern and the reason for that is that the modulus operator gives you the remainder on division by the number you're dividing by so here we're dividing by 2 so we get the remainder on division by 2 so as an example if you divide 5 by 2 you get 2 with a remainder of 1 okay but if you divide 6 by 2 you get three with no remainder or a remainder of zero. So that's why you get this alternating pattern, okay? It's a very important operator in computer science, so you need to make sure you understand it, but that's not the focus of today's lesson. So what I'm gonna do now is show you a tool we can use online for creating flowcharts. It's called draw.io. So if you search for draw.io in your favorite search engine and select the top result, it will take you here and you get the option to save your work. Now you can do that, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna select decide later. And in fact, I've done some preparation on another tab, so I'm gonna switch tabs. And we're gonna go through how we would do this algorithm using flowchart symbols. Let's just remind ourselves quickly of what the flowchart symbols are. So these are the main ones you need to know. You have a terminator, which is a start or stop, and you need that for every algorithm that you draw. Then you have connecting lines or flow lines. Then you have input or output, that's a parallelogram shape. You have a process or some kind of computation, that would be a rectangle. And then you have a decision. And usually coming out of a decision, you'll have some of these lines and they'll be labeled with a yes or no, or true or false or something like that. Okay, so that, that's our palette of symbols that we can use. So let's have a think about how we would do this algorithm. So. First of all, we need a terminator, that's a start symbol, okay? And then that's gonna to link to input output because for the purposes of this algorithm, we're gonna get the number from the user. So we ask the user to input a number, a whole number, and then based on what they enter, we have this branching, and you know, we have this decision to make. And the condition that we're concerned about is whether the number mod two is equal to zero. So this mod here is pseudocode for the modulus operator, which in Python we use the percentage sign for. The condition we're interested in is whether num mod two is equal to zero. Now, if it is, then that means the remainder when we divide the number by two is zero, which means it is in fact an even number or a multiple of two, okay? So you can see there's a bit of maths involved here. So if that's the case, then we print num is even. Okay, and I've just separated the two values. So num is our number and is even is a string, some text. Okay, and we need to label that. So we'll do that like this. That's the yes branch. Then we have the other branch. So label that with no. So if the remainder is not zero, then that means it's going to be one because that's the only possibilities for mod two. It's either going to be zero or one. So if the remainder is not zero, that means the number is odd and we output the message num is odd. This num here is gonna be the value that the user inputted up here. And then we need a terminator at the end for end, but there's one thing missing still and that's we need to link this box, this symbol to the end. So we do that using the functionality here. That's done using these waypoints here. It's a little bit of a faff, but if you play around with it, you'll get used to it. And you can see we, we join this symbol here up to the line, so they together go into the terminator, the end symbol. And that's basically how it works. So flowcharts are very important for GCSE computer science. Sometimes it seems a bit like overkill to draw such a complex diagram for something that you understand if you're already, say, a programmer but they can't be avoided. And certainly in terms of planning out more complex algorithms, they're very useful. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos on GCSE Computer Science, A-Level Computer Science and Python programming.